Okay, uh, guys, today we'll discuss about the rectilinear uh, motion with the illustrated example here. Now, a sprinter reaches his maximum speed Vmax in 2.5 seconds from rest with a constant acceleration. He then maintains that speed and finishes the 100 yards in the overall time, so 9.6 seconds. So, determine his maximum speed Vmax. So, this is the given parameter and then the required parameter is v mass then to calculate this maximum velocity first let's try to understand the equation normally from 0 from time 0 to time 2.5 he has a constant acceleration and then he maintain his speed after that time that means when he maintain that speed the acceleration will become zero because there may not be any velocity change so to construct this let's try to have uh, a velocity time uh, graph for the isof calculation now let's try to construct this as the horizontal axis and then as a vertical axis here now let's see this is time in second and this is velocity in yard and then this one is in second so at zero zero at point zero at point two point five and then at the point of 9.6 second but we don't know the maximum velocity but from time 0 up to 2.5 he has a constant speed since he has a constant speed you will have just like this one a linear and then after that time he has a constant speed just like this one after 2.5 9.6 second now as you remember from different classes or from the different elementary school you recognize that the area of the velocity time graph is displacement or is a distance so area of vt graph is displacement so we have two areas now the first area is a triangular area area one and the second one is a rectangular area so once we calculate this area we'll sum up them to get the total area once we get that total area we can get the displacement we can correlate that one then what is this position this position is v maximum so what's area one now since it is triangle area one is a triangle that means half base base is from here to here it will be 2.5 and then times what the height the height is v max v max which is equals to 1.2 5 v max now what the second area the second area is area 2 which is a rectangle so base times 8 so the base length is 9.6 minus 2.5 times the height is v max so it will become 7.1 times v maximum now what is total area? The total area is equals to A1 plus A2. So we sum up the two parts, then we can get 8.35 V max. So this is the overall area. But area and 
distance is or displacement is equal that means 8.35 v max is equals to distance which is equals to 100 yards now v max is simply 100 over 8.35 and then it will become 11.98 yard per second so this is the final maximum velocity which is just asked in the equation so this can be our answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our channel we'll deliver you different interesting videos